All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be giving you my first look at the new Diadem Warrior. I've had this for about 10 days so far and I am absolutely loving this paddle. I do wanna disclaim that Diadem did send me this paddle for free so that I could make these videos for you guys, but they did not pay me and they have no say on my opinion or how the final video is produced on these paddles. All opinions are my own, but I did want to disclose that because they did send me this paddle for free. So let's talk about the build quality. And the first thing I want to talk about is the grip. And it's not so much the size of the grip. It does feel nice in my hand. I have pretty average sized hands and it fits nicely, but it's really just how it's constructed. It really feels premium and very solid where I've played with a lot of paddles in the past where the handle just feels kind of cheap, not like it's gonna break necessarily, but it just doesn't feel that great in the hand. And I'm happy to say that on the Warrior, it just doesn't feel like that. It feels really well built. The other thing I wanna talk about is the weight because this is something that really surprised me. So this paddle is 19 millimeter and we'll get into why it's so thick a little bit later, but the weight is 8.5 ounces. And I was really worried that this meant that the paddle was going to be really sluggish at the net. Hands were gonna be really slow. You would get tired from holding a heavier paddle. And I'm really happy to say that that is not the case. It's actually surprising how light this paddle feels. And I think that mostly has to do with how they balanced the paddle. It's just really nice overall. Now, the one thing I will say about the build quality that I am worried about is the textured surface. They are using a grit paint, and when I got it, it was one of the grittiest surfaces I had felt. I was actually really excited about that, and hitting with the ball initially, it gets quite a bit of spin. In my last video, you can check out and see how it ranked, but it did really well. It was about a bit above average, nearing the high end of spin, but not quite there. It was averaging about 1,450 RPM, which is pretty solid overall. So the spin is good, but in the 10 days that I've had the paddle, the grit is already wearing down a noticeable amount. It's not smooth or anything. You can still totally feel the texture, but it's definitely smoother than when I got it. And that does make me worried that if in the first 10 days it's already uh, wearing out, then what's it gonna be like two months from now or a month from now? <laughs> So that's something I'm gonna have to save for the full review and let you guys know how it's holding up, but that is something I am quite concerned about right now. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the control and power of this paddle, because one of the things that makes the Warrior so unique is that it's a 19 millimeter paddle with a 3XL core. And if you're not familiar with core technologies, the vast majority of paddles on the market right now are using a polymer honeycomb as the core. Almost everything you use right now is probably using polymer honeycomb. There are exceptions like Gearbox where the whole paddle is made of carbon fiber. The other core material that exists is called Nomex. And this is a much louder material. When you hit the face, you can definitely hear the Nomex. And the idea is that you get a lot more power because the ball rebounds off the surface quicker than uh, something like polymer honeycomb. So what Diadem did is they basically made a sandwich. So the very center is Nomex, and then outside of the Nomex, you have regular polymer honeycomb. So the idea is that when you swing really hard, the ball is going to sit on the face longer and get to that Nomex and then help you generate power off the face. But when you're dinking, you're gonna be getting the outer parts of the polymer honeycomb so you get a good soft game. So that's why the paddle is 19 millimeter. They just needed more space to put more core inside of it. Diadem is the first company that has tried this and so far I think it works really well. When I go to hit the ball hard, I feel like I get a lot of power for a 19 millimeter paddle. There are 16 millimeter paddles out there where I don't feel like I get this much power from, but now on the soft game, I feel like you also get really good touch and feel because it's thicker and that outer portion is polymer honeycomb. Now I will say it does not play as soft as you would think uh, a 19 millimeter paddle would. If you're used to some of the really soft paddles, I don't think it plays as soft as some of those, even though it's 19 millimeter. I do feel like it is a very controllable pop off the face, but it is certainly more than some of the other paddles I've played with. Ones like the Vanguard Invicta or the Carbon 16 millimeter. I feel like those are probably softer paddles than the Warrior, but the pop off the Warrior is not uncontrollable. For me, it works perfectly fine, but if you are looking into this paddle and you're expecting it to be the softest paddle on the market, I don't think that's the case. But overall, 3XL core, very interesting idea. I think you're gonna see a lot more companies using this because it gives you a really good balance of power and control. 
Next up, we've got the sweet spot, and I don't have a scientific way to tell you how big this sweet spot is, but in my experience playing with a uh, Selkirk Vanguard Invicta, the sweet spot feels noticeably larger on this paddle. Uh, I have felt like I get a lot less miss hits. Sweet spot feels great. If you hit near the edge, you're gonna be able to tell. If you frame the ball, it still doesn't feel good. The further you go away from that center, obviously the worse it's gonna feel. It doesn't have this magic sweet spot where the whole face of the paddle is great. Obviously you need to hit it closer to the center. But yeah, overall, I feel like the sweet spot's been really good and noticeably better than something like a Vanguard Invicta. So yeah, that's my initial thoughts about the paddle, but now I also let locals in my areas try this paddle out any day I went and people there really liked this paddle. I've not seen anyone really care when someone gets a new paddle, but for some reason, a lot of people were really interested in this one and maybe that's just because it's red and it looks different and people are like, what is that? That. But as I let them try it, a lot of them had the same thoughts that I said, where when they pick it up, they're like, how heavy is this? And you tell them 8.5 ounces and they're like, there's no way. This doesn't feel like an 8.5 ounce paddle. And again, I think it's probably just because it's a really well balanced paddle. And then people also feel like they get really good spin. Uh, we had a few of our Vanguard Invicta players try it and they felt like they got noticeable more spin with this and they were really happy with how their drives and their dinks were feeling. And one of the people that I actually got to film their reaction and let them play with the paddle was my friend named Dave. So I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about the paddle. Yeah, so today I spent some time playing with the Diadem Warrior paddle. Um, my background, I've played with quite a few different paddles, um, but I have gravitated towards the Selkirk line of uh, carbon fiber paddles. Um, I like those paddles a lot, I like the way they feel, so this, this paddle had a lot that it would need to do in order to win me over. So hitting it today, I really like the grit on the surface. I think that I get a lot more spin with this paddle than with my other paddles. Um, seems like I can get more drop when I hit a drive. Um, it also seems like if you follow through that it has a lot of power too. So although um, I think you can get a lot of spin, you can also get a lot of power. Um, I really like the way it, it dinks. And the way it feels, you can see how thick this thing is. Um, it's a, maybe a 0.3 or 0.4 ounces heavier than any paddle I've played with. So I had to kind of get used to the, the extra weight on the swing. Um, the other thing is I'm a big guy with a big hand and the, the grip is something I'd probably want to make a little bit larger, but I like the way it feels. It's a little faster of a paddle than the Invicta, so it pops just a little bit more on the dinks, but I think the spin makes up for that. So it's a controllable. I've tried some other paddles where um, the ball just jumps off the paddle and it's hard to dink. Um, but I don't seem to be have a problem with this paddle in that way. So although it's maybe not quite as soft as the Selkirk, I think the sweet spot to me feels bigger. Um, so I'll take that any day of the week over uh, a larger sweet spot over a smaller one. Uh, it's really solid. Uh, I'd say this paddle is, is a winner and it's going in my bag and probably replacing everything else I play with. Um, it's a great paddle. So thanks to Dave for doing that. In the future, I'm gonna have more people in these types of videos to help give you their opinion and let you know what type of paddle they've been playing with. So that way, if you use the same paddle as them, maybe you can get an idea of how it really fares. In this case, I'm actually leaving for the Dominican for some video shoots and I'm gonna be gone for a week. So I didn't have time to film any more than that, but hopefully hearing another opinion helps you guys make a decision about this paddle. So yeah, overall, I am really impressed with this paddle. This is one of the first paddles where I feel like the marketing actually lived up to the hype. Everything felt very accurate to what they described and how I played with the paddle, as well as other people that I let try it. So I wanna say a huge props to Diadem for not overhyping their paddle. I think it's built really well. The 3XL core is interesting. The spin is good. But like I said, I hope that grit holds up because it would be a huge bummer if that's kind of what ruins this paddle. But when I get ready to do the full review in a few weeks, I will definitely keep you updated on that and guess we'll see. So yeah, I really like this paddle and it's what I'm going to be using as my primary paddle now. So yeah, if you are on the fence about this paddle, I would say go ahead and pick it up. I think it's a really great paddle and it's one that just about everyone is going to really like. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video.